guys welcome back to the channel thank you for joining me <laughs> today I wanted to come out to the little pond in my neighborhood and use my fly rod but mostly what I wanted to do was to come out and just do a, uh, a little quick how to cast a fly rod so the fly rod that you see me using right now is a quark across water uh, should be able to be used in fresh or salt water. It's more of a heavier weight because I do want to use this one in salt water for redfish and speckled trout and even flounder to that matter. But this one is a uh, an eight weight. And with it being an eight weight, that's a real good size for being able to use in salt water. Right now, what I'm gonna show you is how to <coughs> facilitate a decent cast. So on back and release. Pull, release. Now with the fly rod, as you pull out, that's adding distance to your actual um, length that you'll be able to get, that you'll be able to get. So myself, I always like to look behind me to make sure that I'm not hooking trees and things. Today it might be a little bit kind of a little hard with doing this because the wind is blowing pretty high. So I'm going to step away some so that way you guys can see um, how you get distance. So with the way that I'm using this and the way that I'm casting, I could probably cast this pretty much all the way across the lake. So as I pull, that's adding length, distance, and then it goes, then I'm letting it go straight out. Pull, leap. So we're only a few feet away from hitting it. And if you notice, the way that this string goes, this line will lay out flat on top of the water. Now that's, <laughs> now if I'm fishing this, the lure that I'm using right now is a little topwater fly that looks like a little worm. So, so you do, well, let me back up some. So on your reel, some reels will have a drag and some others will be more of a, a free school. So the ones that I have does have, uh, does have a drag to it. Oh, let me see. Saw that. I think that was a, I think that was a carp. Let's see if he might want to hit. Can't tell if these are love bugs or mosquitoes that are trying to hover around my leg. So, so I'm gonna start over with a shorter cast and show you guys how I worked it out long again. So I'm coming all the way back up to where it's my line and my tippet and everything here. And I'm gonna work my way out as such. So I'm pulling as I'm going back. Pull, 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 pull. And you can hear this in the in the background when you're casting. You'll hear it with more a slight whipping sound. Now you don't want to have too much sound because you don't want to be scaring fish away and things. And the way that your lure is, you want your lure to hit the water as softly as possible, so it's not causing too much of a disruption, but just giving enough disruption to uh, catch a fish's attention if there's something in the vicinity. So I'm going to fish along the shoreline. Demonstrate. Work my lure back to me. I'm going to just pull my string like this. Again, I'm going back out further. 
didn't take long to get it there. So, especially when starting off, it's a good rule of thumb to pay attention to what is behind you. If I was catching a fish right now, the way that I step, I would set my hook is by pulling my string and raising my rod tip. Now when casting, when your line goes back, you kind of want to let your line go back uh, as far as possible but not to the point where it's around trees or people or anything else like that because it will get hung up real quickly. Once it goes back, then we're ready to go. Oh, now that's really good. I'm all the way over there now. Oh man, there we go. Let's see. So that cast was all the way across the lake. Oh man, the sprinklers are about to come on. We may get wet. Oh, there it is. I knew it was coming. <laughs> okay. So, so guys, that is the end of the video for today. And I would say if you enjoyed the video or if you have any questions or comments, please do go ahead and make them. I actually taught myself how to fly fish back when I was in college and was hanging around at LSU by one of the, the lakes on, by LSU on Darrymple. Uh, but it's not a hard thing to do. You can teach yourself. All it takes is trial and error. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, think about subscribing if you haven't, and then also give a like on the video. And if you do subscribe, please go ahead and press the bell so that way you can get notifications when I've uploaded new and additional videos.